Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Quinn. And welcome to Soho TV. Were you ever a cheerleader here at Southold? Yes, but then I discovered my fear of getting thrown into the air and never coming down. Hmm. Well, Kate and Olivia stopped by the gym to check up on her cheerleading squad. Let's see what they discovered. I'm Kate Jones from Soho TV, here with Miss Williams talking about cheerleading. How long have you been coaching for? This is my third year as the varsity coach at Southold. What have you accomplished throughout the years? Uh, we've accomplished making cheer just go to a competition, which Southfield has never done before, really. Um, we're stunting, and the girls are proving themselves as real athletes. What are your goals for this year? Our goals are to get new uniforms, first and foremost, for next year. Um, and our goals are also to place in the competitions we're going to. What are the hopes for the upcoming years? Well, a lot of changes in cheerleading have happened. It is now considered a sport on the high school level and now it's a, in the Olympics as well so that's exciting so I know there's a lot of youth coming up down the path that will make Southfold cheerleading much more amazing and I hope to see Southfold's name making its mark in highly competitive cheerleading. I'm so excited for the Super Bowl this year. What do you look forward to the most, Sarah? Hmm, let's see. The uniforms. <laughs> well, I love the food. Mm. Here's Daisy with a special Super Bowl recipe that's bound to be a hit at any party. Having trouble choosing your classes for next year? Not me. I'll be in college. <laughs> well, for all the underclassmen, Jamie and Abby have some pointers for you. Let's listen. Course guides, get an idea of what the courses that are being offered. Think about some of those interests that you might have that are going to then be associated with some of those classes that we have to offer. Come with questions. So if they don't understand or um, want to know more about an elective or tell us about an area of interest, then we can guide them um, in terms of electives or courses that they can take. A lot of students kind of stick to the more popular electives instead of branching out into something that they want to do and rather stay with their friends than explore their own interests. So I would say that they should choose courses that they would gain um, knowledge from and potentially lead to a possible career or major. I would say to take a course load that is um, challenging, but not one that will overwhelm them. So taking AP courses, taking college level courses, um, having electives in your schedule 
but not to the point that you feel um, you can't balance everything. Generally before finals uh, in June is probably the time where we really push for students to just make those final decisions so then we can start to finalize the master schedule so s class schedules are available for students uh, as early as possible in the summer but in general I would say bef uh, right around the time of June, uh, early in June I would say would be the last time to really make changes. If you like to write or draw or design, Founding Voices is the club for you. Here's Daisy with a promotion for Southwold's Literary Magazine. Do you like to write? Do you have poems or stories that are just lying around in your notebook? Well, come on down and submit them to Founding Voices. Bad poems, good poems, depressing poems, happy poems, funny poems, short stories, long stories, they're all welcome here. Just come on down to Mr. Rooney's room, grab a form of submission, and hand it in. It's that easy. All work that is reviewed is completely anonymous. Come on down to Mr. Rooney's room and submit your work today. Our select choirs had their small ensemble concert last week. Let's take a look at the event. We won't hesitate. Tired of listening to all the bogus weather predictions? Yeah, I'd like to know whether or not there will be a snow day before it happens. Well, you're in luck. So TV got a special interview with our weather expert, none other than our beloved Mr. McArdle. Let's hear his predictions. Hello, So TV. My name is APK, and I'm with Ms. McArdle. Now, Ms. McArdle, do you believe in global warming? Uh, as an earth science teacher, of course I believe in global warming. Due to all the empirical data, it is definitely getting warmer outside. Now, Ms. McArdle, why is it cold outside? Uh, it is cold outside right now because we're in the winter season, which means that the northern hemisphere is pointed away from the sun. When is your next snow day? I believe our next snow day will be the day after Super Bowl, so everyone can enjoy a nice day off. How many inches do you think it's going to be at least? Six. Prime. All right, thank you for your time, Ms. McArdle. Back in the studio. Well, there you have it. Soho TV. So excited for the Super Bowl. I'm more excited about the dance this week. Oh yeah, the jungle themed dance. It's I gonna know. Be so fun. It's gonna, gonna be see some so crazy, crazy wild animals right after the boys basketball game. Don't forget. It's Hope gonna to see be you all there. Everyone better show up. See you there. Bye. Oh hello there. You call me readying my settler pride for the big game tonight. Uh. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just hyping myself up for the awesome dance tonight. We got the boys basketball game at 530. What's up, Reborn? Who runs this town? Patrick McFarlane! Thomas B. Lesley! A.B. Dan Swisher! Sammy Marvel Dance! Welcome to the jungle! $10! It's going to be a terrific time. Welcome!